Hello and welcome to Find and Create. My name is James and if you're watching my channel for the first time, a very, very warm welcome. If you've seen my videos before, thank you so much for returning and for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. I know it's been a while since my last video, but due to very heavy work commitments over summertime, it's been quite difficult to film. So this video is about these vulcanite bottle stoppers. Now, I'm sure you're familiar with these little grey or almost black uh, bottle stoppers from the Victorian era. If you've been beachcombing or mudlarking yourselves, you will have found these. Now, I've searched the internet and haven't really found any great use for them. Uh, one or two people use them for stamping, um, and Sci Finds recently mounted some very nice ones in a picture frame, which was, which was good. But I haven't seen anything else or any other uses for them. So my idea is to drill a hole down the centre of the stopper and to use it, I'll use this one, this is a little better, to drill a hole down the centre and to use the stoppers as uh, coat hooks or draw pulls. Now hopefully my idea is a first, you've not seen it before, I certainly didn't see it anywhere else, it's something I've come up with. So um, sit back and enjoy the video, please let me know your comments and your feedback and if you like my channel please subscribe. Thank you so much again, and we'll see you at the end. Okay, so what I want to try and do is to drill a hole accurately in the end of these vulcanite bottle stoppers. Um, I want the, the hole to go quite a way into the stopper, and it must be parallel. I don't want the, stopper to, the, uh, the hole to go off a funny angle, or the stopper w won't be central when I mount it, it'll be twisted in some, in some way. Problem is, I need a pillar drill, and I don't have one, so I, I have no means of accurately drilling down the centre by hand anyway. So the idea is, I've got this socket here, which is um, five eighths socket for undoing the big nuts and bolts, and the um, bottle stoppers fit nicely in there. Most of them, there's some slight variations, but most of them fit quite nicely in there. Quite, see, that's quite snug in there. I mean, to get it out, all you do is you just push on, on that and it comes back out again. But it is tight. So that holds that securely in position. The idea then would be, I've got a spice pot here, which is um, taking the top off. Uh, and this almost goes down the centre of there. So what I've made is a, is a um, kind of a collar that slides over the top of here. Pull it out really tight, and that now goes into there, and that's pretty tight. Um, I've then got a piece of a 40 millimeter tube in here, which this goes reasonably tightly into. Um, we've also got this aluminium tube in, which again, this one goes into that one. So the idea is that if I can take this old drill, which I'm fortunate, I'm fortunate to have a, a long parallel section here and I can kind of put that over there and then this inside here and so on and so forth when I go to drill we should be right in the middle of the stopper that's the idea so I'll assemble all this properly get everything right got some other options some bits of plastic here from mastic tubing and things that I can use as well my idea is going to try and get as as close to a snug and accurate um, sort of sleeve device as possible and then we'll, we'll try the drilling process so what we've got then, we've got rid of this spice pot don't want that, uh, in favour of this tube here which is made from some mastic um, plastic here so taking some of this off this, like the silicon plastic because it's gone hard um, cut a little bit out, roll it around and then secured it with some tape and that fits nicely into there and then bottle stopper into there I'll just push that out a moment just press down I want to whack it on the concrete like I did before just push down on it so that into there this is a piece of 40, 40 millimeter UPVC piping which I've then got some um, cardboard some tea, bo tea bag box cardboard and wrapped some tape around it to make some sleeves and these fit onto there to give everything a really tight fit so that one onto there 
and this one into here. So that, as you can see, tight on there, and they just bring the diameter up by a fraction. This then goes into here, and there, so that's your bottle stopper. So the idea then would be that um, we're just basically going to try and drill the hole through. But this tube here needs some kind of support on here. So again, mastic tubing around there. Now it's so this is so tight it doesn't actually need any tape on it. All it needs is to be held in position and then this to be brought onto here. And you can see that's a tight fit. So that's on there securely. This is here. This is going to go in here. But basically, we're just going to drill. But before we do, what I will just do, I'll just take my um, Vulcanite bottle stopper out. Um, and I've got um, a pencil here. And I'm going to make a little mark sort of in the center of the bottle stopper. So that I'm, that's my target, and I'll just take this, which is a um, school protractor thing, and I'm just going to scratch a little sort of starting point in the middle of the vulcanite, just to give the drill tip something to something to bag into. So you see onto here. So this is going to go back into here. And then we'll begin the drilling process. Oops. So, in there. Just change the. Just change the drill bit. For a nice new one and a small one. We'll begin with a pilot hole. I'll just change that a little bit for this one. So this is a two millimeter. That can go in there. That plastic's come off because it's inside, so that's fine. Nice. There's your stopper. Into here. And the idea is it's just bottomed out on the um, on the drill bit. So the idea is now the drill. So press on there. Press on here. of truth. There we go. One hole right in the bottom of the, the, of the stopper. Fantastic. Good job. Yes. Okay, so <clears throat> apologies, I just checked the film and um, a lot of what I was doing was just a little bit off the screen. Um, I can't refilm it, but um, nevertheless, you, you can see here, if I can bring that in there, look, you can see that that's definitely in the middle. Um, I'm going to go in now with, so with that, uh, that longer drill bit, or the thicker drill bit. So, uh, so that's going to go into there. Hopefully, one last time. Tap it in again. It's nice and solid. Um, nothing's really changed in the sense I can't make that any any shorter. I'm just going to be more uh, gentle with my pressing. 
uh, from this side. So what I mean by that is, instead of going right to the very, very end of here, I'll just go a little bit less in. So we'll just, so we'll just try one more time. Push that out of there. Push that out of there. And the blackout. That's the hole. And now we'll just use this drill bit here, look. So you can see on the camera there how far. And it goes, it goes in by, well, it's a good inch, so a good couple of centimetres into the, the stopper now. I won't go any further, obviously I don't want to risk going through the other side, um, but that's definitely in there. Nice parallel hole. Next stage then is to um, put a thread in this, so we can uh, put a screw into it, and that's the first of our um, coat hooks or door pulls. From a Vulcanite bottle stopper. Good stuff. Okay, so oops, so I've got a, uh, a little screw here, a little um, Phillips headed self tapper, and we're going to screw this, try and screw this into the bottle stopper. Um, ideally, I'd like to get a tap and die um, sort of kit which is kind of like a drill bit that forms um, its own thread so that I don't have to force the, the screw to make its own thread. There'll be one in the, in the vulcanite from the, uh, from the drill. Um, but it's the sort of thing I think I'd have to order online um, or get one from an engineering shop. It's not the sort of thing I think you get from your local sort of DIY shop like your B&Q. Um, so we'll give it a go with this. I've got some soap here um, just to lubricate the thread a little bit. Just to help it with the not being too dry and not causing hopefully causing it to crack. So we'll put that in there. Let's see if we can gently screw this in without splitting the vulcanite. A bit at a time. Going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Just trying not to force too quickly. Remember, this bottle stop is probably a hundred years old. And it wasn't supposed to have a thread down the centre. Okay. It's just a little bit of chipping on the edge. A little bit of chipping on the the entry point. We're getting halfway or so in now. No, no cracks appearing yet. And backwards, forwards. And obviously, it's, it's got to follow the hole. It's not like wood where it's going to try and wander off somewhere else. It's got to follow the hole. So I'll take it out again. Just lubricate it one more time. See from my hand. I'm trying to. I'm trying. I want to hold it like this, but you can't see. So I'm trying to keep my hand a little bit open. Quite a bit of resistance. Maybe there's a better, better screw I can use. Let's see. That is. I mean, that's plenty way into the bottle stopper, because there's obviously going to be some some wood or something else between here and there. So I don't think I need to go any further than that. So, yeah, I'll clean that up there. There we go. 
one bottle stopper with a screw in the end. Now all I've got to do is drill a hole in the wood and uh, and mount this to the wood. Yay! I made I made th two more bottle stoppers. So we've got now got a Whitakers of Halifax and we've got a S Hoyle of Keithley and we've got this one which we just saw me making which is the T Ramsden and Son Stone Trough in Halifax that's definitely going to be a pub that Stone, stone Trough Whitakers again could be a pub uh, S Hoyle and Keithley I've seen this before this is a brewery I think I'm pretty sure it's a, a proper brewery is that one there we go, three uh, stoppers with a hole down the centre. Um, and so now I've just got to find a, a nice old rustic piece of wood to use. I want to make a, um, a coat a coat hook uh, thing with this, a plinth with a coat with, for, for hanging the coats on. But let's find some wood. I've got a piece of uh, driftwood here that we found on a beachcombing adventure at some point. Um, I think when I do this project in the future, um, again, I'll probably do this on a bigger piece. I have a piece here, which bring it onto, uh, into view. You've, you've probably seen this um, off, off shot on the camera. Um, another nice piece here, and I thought about using that one. Uh, my only concern is that um, using this one is that the, the bottle stoppers might get sort of lost on the wood. No, I don't know. This one's a little bit smaller. We can have the three on here, like this. And I might just make a little sort of more, more, more compact, more attractive little piece. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's just an experiment, um, just to show you guys what um, what we can do, what we can make. So we'll go with this smaller piece. Um, we can always reuse them somewhere else. Use them this later on. Um, Still covered in sand from from the beach. Uh, sand all the time. Uh, I, I think it's hard wood. I think it's like a teak or something like that. This wood. I like this. Um, it's obviously been painted white or cream at some point. Very very little left. I kind of like this um, this distressed grainy colour. Um, when you compare it to a piece of pallet wood, this has got way more character, way, way more character. So I'm just going to use this sander just to, just to do the edges, just to, give, just to take off any splinters off. splinters on your uh, clothes when you hang them up. Okay, a little bit more here. Oops. Right. So that'll do for now. And now we need to drill three places for the for the stoppers to go. So I need to I need to get a pencil and just calculate where to go with these so they are kind of uniform in position. So I'll get a pencil and a uh, tape measure and then we'll, we'll mark this for drilling. 
Okay, so we've got um, a measure. Uh, couldn't find a pencil. I <laughs> can never find anything in my house. Um, pen will do. Um, apologies for a background noise. Little children next door playing in the paddling pool. Um, can't blame them on such a beautiful day, so um, that's what the noise in the background is. Um, what we're going to do is measure this, and it is 32 and a half centimetres long. So that's going to be 16 and a quarter uh, to the middle. So 10, 16 and a quarter. And all you need is put a tiny, tiny little dot in the middle. Now, I, I could, oops, try a different one. I could then measure from there to there and take half, but I don't want them to be to be so close together. So I want them to be more towards the extremes. So provided they are equidistant from each other, it doesn't matter as such. Just the aesthetics of the thing. Um, so I think more like this sort of position is going to be better. So if we take that there as a kind of uh, as a chosen spot, and I'll just measure that approximately there. So that is from the edge. Is just do it. Just move that a second. So from the edge, that one would be sort of four and so we've got four and a half. It's easier that way than four and a, a little bit. So we've got four and a half from there. So four and a half there. So then we we'll do four and a half. From here, like that, four and a half. So that's the, that's the position. So we've got one here, one here. Put it that way around so you get the idea. Here we are. And that one. Yeah. So it's kind of like that. The kind of spacing we're going to have on the wood. So next thing now is going to be drill um, a small hole, this sort of diameter, in the centre of here, and then to e enlarge that hole. So the, the bowl shape of this fits into the wood. And that's where this one's going to come in, this big masonry drill bit. This is going to give a, um, a profile very similar to the end of this bottle stopper, which is going to allow me to recess the tip of the bottle stopper into the wood, just for a little bit of extra security. So there's not too much pressure right on, right on the very edge there. So we'll move those, and we'll drill that. Piece of scrap wood over here. We'll finish off drilling through here. So that's through all the way through there. And I'll change the, uh, uh, the drill bit. That's it. In there. Tighten this up. Right. And then we'll put this into here. And make that hole. The smell of this wood is fantastic. Really nice. Really it smells really like um I don't know. Almost like a sort of chocolatey, um, alcoholic smell. I wonder if it's, it's not from a barrel. It really, really smells nice. What we'll do now is we'll enlarge the holes with this. And then we'll go in here. Let's say it looks a bit. Um, agricultural, but the whole idea is that that is the same size as that.
This one is the Whitaker's one, and then that can go in a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. Yep, that's good. That's good. And that one. So, there we go. So all that's left to do now is the final assembly. Um, I've got some slightly longer screws down originally uh, because these um, need to go through this wood and then well into the stopper to give it a good um, secure hold. So these are a little bit longer and I've got some soap here uh, just to lubricate the threads. So we just rub a little bit of soap into the threads just to, um, just to help so it doesn't sort of um, stress the bottle uh, bottle stopper too much. So these holes are reasonably deep. Um, we'll begin with the one that we started the project on which is this one, stone trough in Halifax and that goes into there and because of the thread actually on the stopper um, when I turn that in there look and then sort of it bites and that's actually strong enough to support um, itself in that wood even without uh, a screw in it, but obviously it still needs one, so we'll put that one in there. Make sure this is level. And put that in there, screw it up. Just got to be careful I don't over tighten it, get too much confidence, and, uh, and strip out the, uh, the vulcanized rubber from the middle. Just tighten it up until feels solid. Okay, so that's that one there. Repeat the process with this Hoyles one. And then we'll twist that in there. Okay. It's a bite. Oops. Make, sure it's a Make sure it's level. Which it is there. Level with the previous one. And again, Move that in. Yeah, that's nice and tight. Okay, and the final one then is this one, which is the Whitakers of Halifax. So that will go in here. Again. Try and make sure it bites and make sure it's level. Like that. Put a bit of soap on there. And again. Make sure that's tight. Is it there? There we go. So, three vulcanite bottle stoppers as a rather attractive coat hook set, or there could be uh, draw pulls for uh, uh, for a bedside cabinet, that type of thing. But I think uh, you'll agree that's the, it's quite an attractive way to use these Victorian vulcanite bottle stoppers. So thank you very much again for watching the video. Apologies for the big space between this video and my previous ones. Um, it's just do very, very heavy work commitments at the moment. But I have got lots of other things installed, lots of other craft ideas, and some mudlarking projects. So thank you again. Uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, leave, leave me your comments. I really appreciate those. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.